Sometimes the truth hurts. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter that my granddaughter doesn't have what it takes to be a singer? I, a 64-year-old woman, have a daughter, Laura, who is 38 and absolutely convinced that her daughter, Tina, who is 12, is destined to be a famous singer. Laura has always been a bit of a dreamer, but this obsession with Tina's singing career has gone too far. The problem is that Tina is tone deaf, can't keep a tune to save her life, and has no natural rhythm. Despite this, Laura is pouring money into singing lessons, dragging Tina to meet so-called industry influencers, and pushing her into auditions for every talent show she can find. It's becoming a serious issue, not just financially, but in terms of how it's affecting our family and friendships. To give you an idea of how far this has gone, here are three instances where Laura's behavior has caused problems. Ruining a friend's wedding. A close family friend was getting married last year and Laura insisted that Tina sing at the wedding. I tried to gently suggest that maybe Tina wasn't ready for such a big performance, but Laura wouldn't hear it. She badgered the bride, claiming that having Tina sing would make the wedding unforgettable. The bride, not wanting to cause a rift, reluctantly agreed. The performance was, well, let's just say it was memorable for all the wrong reasons. Tina was off key, missed several cues, and the whole thing was awkward. The bride later told me in private that it was one of the most stressful parts of her wedding day. She felt obligated to let Tina perform because Laura wouldn't take no for an answer, and it strained their friendship. Embarrassing a friend at a charity event. Another time, Laura took Tina to a charity event where a local band was playing. Laura somehow convinced the band to let Tina sing a song with them during their set. The band wasn't thrilled, but Laura was relentless, telling them how much it would mean to Tina and how it would be great exposure for her career. When Tina got up to sing, it was clear she was in over her head. The band struggled to keep up with her off-tempo singing, and the audience was visibly uncomfortable. Afterward, the band leader, who was a good friend of mine, told me he was frustrated and embarrassed by the whole situation. He didn't want to cause a scene, but he felt like Laura had put them all in a very awkward position. Straining a longtime friendship. Laura's best friend, Susan, has a daughter the same age as Tina. Susan's daughter is an accomplished pianist and has won several local competitions. Laura insisted that the girls should perform together at a community event. Susan was hesitant, knowing that her daughter's piano skills wouldn't be enough to cover for Tina's singing. But Laura wouldn't take no for an answer, saying it would be good for both girls to get exposure. The performance was a disaster. Susan's daughter was visibly frustrated and the friendship between Laura and Susan has been strained ever since. Susan told me later that she's tired of Laura pushing Tina into situations where she's clearly not ready and she doesn't want her daughter's hard work to be overshadowed by Tina's struggles. After these incidents and several others, I finally sat Laura down and told her the truth. Tina just doesn't have what it takes to be a singer. I tried to be as gentle as possible, explaining that Tina has other talents and interests that might be better suited for her, but Laura was furious. She accused me of not believing in Tina and trying to crush her dreams. She even hinted that I was jealous because she was trying to give Tina opportunities I never had. Now Laura barely speaks to me, and when she does, it's cold and distant. She's still pushing Tina into every singing opportunity she can find, and I'm left feeling like the bad guy for saying what I thought needed to be said. I love my granddaughter, and I want her to succeed in life, but I just don't think this is the right path for her. So, am I the asshole for telling my daughter that my granddaughter doesn't have what it takes to be a singer? Or was I just trying to protect Tina from inevitable heartbreak? <laughs>